Hello, 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 and welcome once again. So I'm going to try to get one more video done today, but we're going to start off with a little bit of refitting here. Um, we've got 27 days till uh, it comes up, and I honestly think I'm in a pretty decent position to do a lot of what I want. So first thing we're going to do is goodbye. Oh, wait, no, 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 wrong ones, wrong ones. Uh, jump jet, jump jet, because we're not utilizing any of these, so no point in dealing with it. What I'd like, though, is uh, the armor value is a little low, uh, 45, 45. Uh, the rest is not terrible, but uh, it's not great either, so I can do, like, a ton of armor, which is 90 clicks, uh... Or I can go with like a, a heat sink and another ton of armor because this thing still, uh, its alpha strike is 40, heat sinking of 36. That would bring me up to a heat sinking of 39 uh, would, with my alpha, alpha strike being 40. This thing would take a lot longer to overheat that direction. Um, let's, let's just start upping these and seeing where we are. So those are what I'm really worried about. I mean, the hands, if they go, uh, that's that's pretty terrible, but it's, uh, I can live with it. I can live with it. Legs, I don't seem to see many leg shots. A lot of people said a lot of the flanking maneuvers, or at least that I read or heard or something, uh, being very easy to get the, the flanking maneuvers and take those legs out. I, I, I haven't seen it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Apparently my... Uh, Myself is uh, not quite there. You could have, I could have went like double heat sink too, which would have really made you heat efficient. I, I personally would like a little more armor on this thing, especially like the 35s here, because uh, there's not much structure underneath here. So this thing can be a little bit uh, vulnerable to um, kaboom. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and modify that. That shouldn't take too long. Come on. Thank you. All right, after this we have the cicada. Everything's bogging down now. Maybe I need to actually turn it off for the night. Um, the cicada is extremely weak. I mean, look at the arms, look at the legs. Uh, back's a little weak. This is just kind of weak in general. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to throw on the XL engine. We're going to drop on two tons of armor, and I'm going to save one ton for when I uh, eventually have a case. I don't feel like spending... Uh, it's like almost 300, I think 270,000 for a case, 280,000 for a case too. Or a case uh, which would prevent it from absolutely just blowing the mech up uh, at a half ton. But I really want a case too, uh, because case two reduces ammo explosion damage to only three points, and if you read it, it says it should be structural damage. So case two is what I really, really want, or I need one of. Then I shift. As you can see, I only have one slot open with that XL engine. I shift all of the ammo into one position, and then I just drop the case into there. Uh, I'm personally going to just go ahead and armor up a bit, and armor up a bit. Go ahead and get these to even numbers, because that's, that's going to bother me. I don't think I'm OCD, but a Apparently I am. Probably pop these up to like 50s. Uh, really, I have to worry about losing the light ACs because if I lose the light ACs, I'm basically done with this mech. Uh, simply because I don't have the ability to repurchase light ACs. So I can't build this mech again. If I lose the caseless ammo, that's... Kind of a shame. How much would that be? Just an extra day? I think we pull that the heck out of the arms. Uh, just actually, are each one of these going to take a day? Just more money? I mean, that will blow the engine up if they go. Um, so I really need a case here. Uh, don't have it, though. Not much I can do about it. So, yeah, we're not going to utilize the any of the other hard points on this. I hit contemplated a few different things. Uh, this seems to make the, the most sense for me personally, so 
Uh, we're going to confirm that. That's five days. And we are, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I not? I only put one ton of armor on. I needed to drop a second ton. Whatever. We're already, we're already refitting on it. Just let it go. I'll put another ton on it later. So, yeah, uh, more on me. Should have uh, dropped an extra ton there. The Venom runs extremely, extremely cool. So, uh, what we want to do about that, because we have all of these double heat sinks, 10 out of 11, because I've pulled one off, because I really did not need it. I have an Alpha Strike 51, a heat sinking of 60. We're going to drop the small laser, and heat will become slightly, maybe a bit of an issue, but you got to think, I'm not firing 10 on my arc welders here every time. And when I do heat up, I can run in with the arc welders themselves. I had thought about on the uh, pulling these arc welders off here and uh, putting them on the uh, javelin instead, because it does have the, the points for it, uh, with those four... Uh, jump jets that I pulled off, and that would have allowed me to install the two arc welders here instead. I kind of felt that the armor was a l pretty low on it, especially if, like the, I think 35s on the torsos was what it was. So we pull that off, and then we drop on just a medium pulse laser. So this is 15 damage, but it fires three times. Got to hit all three times, though, and this small laser is just 15 damage. Now, heat of 8 versus a heat of 18, so 10 additional heat. So we now have an Alpha Strike of 61. Again, we generally don't fire the Arc Welder, so 10 less from that. But I am sprinting around, so it should be building up a little bit. We're, we're taking care of uh, basically all of these heat sinks within the mech itself. Now, oh, wait, uh, I had to pull off two points of armor. I completely forgot. Uh, we dropped those off the legs. There we go. Beautiful. And if you can't guess, the last one to, to be done is the big boy, and I've already said I don't believe the plasma gun to be very good unless you're going to get like a fire starter or put a bunch of flamers maybe on a javelin or something like that in order to really take advantage, because when you take advantage and you can overheat them, uh, a 2.3, that's again like 113-ish uh, damage. That is extremely good, uh, but it does have a weapon recoil of 2, um, as well as eating up ammo, so literally this thing eats up 8 tons. So we're going to pull all of that off. We are going to find the heavy PPC. We're going to drop that on. We are going to uh, take off the flamer as well. We're going to take off all the jump jets. I do really like the large jump jets on this, but in order to fit on everything that I need... Just not a lot of choice. Uh, we got to move the plasma lance over to the other arm uh, because we are going to drop the claws over here, which are going to replace the hand melee. So I am losing out on some accuracy on these lasers here. Uh, really? I thought the. Oh, hands melee. These are hands melee. Uh, it's my fault. I thought those were just regular hands that uh, gave like the plus one to accuracy for things in there. Uh, but the claws, uh, negative two tons, that's going to leave me a half ton shy. Uh, with the extra half ton, we're just going to armor up a little bit. The legs, uh, which I don't see getting hit a whole lot, but again, we're going to just armor those up because those are honestly about the lowest uh, point I have. Go ahead and uh, really push this torso, because the XL engine, if if they start getting into, uh, whoa, 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 I only need a half ton. I am going over 155s. Okay, maybe that's something like what I did right there. I guess, maybe. Uh, I would like to kind of protect the, the arms a little bit. I, I got the, oh, wait, I am missing something. We got to reset that. I did that wrong. I have another jump jet here I needed to throw on. Okay. Wait, I don't have the room for it yet. Plasma cannon, goodbye. Flamer, goodbye. I gotta do this all over again. Ammo goss. Ammo goss. I missed a jump jet in the middle, and I realized that I did not have the PPC capacitor on here. Since this is a melee beast, uh, or will be a melee beast shortly, 
Uh, I, I want to take advantage of uh, just the fact that I can shoot something that's extremely, extremely hot. And then basically just turn around and just punch something for 8 million damage. So, go ahead and throw the claws on. And then we have the uh, PPC capacitor, which I threw in the center. And it was a quarter ton, I guess, of, of armor that I was able to put on. Uh, 60... 50, 50, and again, I do take a lot of back shots because of the way I'm playing, so I think I had armored up the back right here. And 13 days on this. Now, go ahead, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So heat efficiency, actually kind of terrible on this mech now, but, but that's all right. What we really want to do is manage tasks now because the Vindicator has far more days than everything else, and working on two mechs at once, uh, I, I basically, if, if this is the last one done, what, what you'll find is that my Vindicator will suddenly be uh, the only thing being left worked on, and I kind of lost some days right here, so shifting that around just a little bit should put me in the... I don't know, 13 day range, something like that. Uh, so we're still okay on money. Uh, we probably need to plan a jump after this uh, this day. So there's our training. Um, let's go ahead and wait. No, 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 no. Uh, well, yeah, we'll we'll just look at it. So a uh, little weird here, but I. Th think I want to try a sensor lock. Uh, I, I generally try to melee a lot with these, so you would think that I would probably, and I'm, I'm actually, oh yeah, you're, okay, so that's the way I thought it might be. Yeah, I gotta wait for them to quit being tired, so we'll do that and just wait, and then we'll, we'll level everybody up. Just wait till all of our progress is done here. Um, leadership, uh, with Decker, who seems to be in a hurry. Oh, Commander, I was looking for Darius, but you'll do. Falcon is on the verge of a brawl with Medusa. They need somebody to remind them they're teammates and not enemies. Decker? You're a tattletale, buddy. Jesus. Uh, you raise your eyebrows. You have command experience, don't you, Decker? Uh, well, yeah, but on board your ship, I'm just a pilot. I don't want to overstep. Um... You're a tattletale, man. We're going to, I guess, teach you. So, uh, you get promoted if you take initiative. You pause meaningfully. Uh, then, without another word, how do you get promoted here? There's, like, the boss and then just mech warriors. Not counting the ship's crew. Not not counting the uh, dropship's crew. Um, the corridor later, you hear Decker uh, dragged... Both bickering mech warriors to the med bay to have Bruce foreheads examined, and everybody was mark remarkably cheerful about it. Okay, that's uh, that's fine. Come on, hurry up. And the Vindicator, yeah, see, it's still being worked on at the end there. So, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh... So I probably want to gain a little bit more base melee hit chance with Behemoth. Oh, your skills were degraded because you were... Oh, yeah. She, she was fatigued, so they actually have uh, skill, de skill degradation. Thing is, I don't want to be able to ace pilot on what's going to be basically be either a punchy uh, assault mech or a, like a brawler type mech. I, I'd much rather have the... Tactician down here, remove one bar of stability damage when reserving, uh, two resolve gain, and negative 50% critical hits taken. So if I am taking a beating on that mech that's leading the front charge uh, when I get some bigger mechs later in the game, I can always, you know, uh, just reserve back one turn just to uh, uh, remove some of the stability damage, and then the negative 50% criticals and more resolve gain. That's just better, I think, for for uh, something where I'm coming down here for the Berserker overall. So we'll grab one more, and then we really need to grab these two down here. 
uh, because the, you can only grab three skills on a pilot, and they have to come from two trees. So you can't like grab three level one skills, which I wish you could do in the base game. But you can't. But you can't. So Gator, uh, really? Okay, not quite enough to, to do anything with. That's no big deal. Oops, I forgot about the other ones. So I'm going to run him down for sensor lock next. I'm wondering if I shouldn't grab... Because I, I just want the sensor lock down here. But, I mean, that's only 2% chance to hit. I don't think that's worth it. Um, at least not right now. Glitch, uh, what type of pilot are you again? Oh yeah, I usually go for, uh, I, I don't even know if the Phantom Mech's gonna be good enough. I haven't, I'm, I'm close to actually grabbing it in my, uh, Lyran Commonwealth playthrough. Don't quite have it yet. I'm thinking it's not gonna be very good, but I could be wrong. Uh, I wanna at least try it out and see what I think of it, uh, but I'm thinking just another good shooty pilot on top of that is probably not a bad idea. And then we have... Uh, who the hell? Oh yeah, Big Sly, your button's grayed out. So, uh, yeah, we need 3200 for Ace Pilot, which I really want, but don't have. So, uh, contracts. I think we're into the one skulls at this point. We are, and there is a capture the base, and, well, we defend the base. Um, we don't want to do... Wow, I could have done all those mech repairs going somewhere else. Uh, assassinate, definitely not, definitely not. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna just... This is dangerous, because I... Barely have enough uh, to travel and everything. Wherever I travel to, there really has to be some missions I can do. Uh, An ice, ice climate, uh, that actually would not be terrible. Okay, so here you can actually see active factions here. Uh, the Free Worlds League is currently fighting for this. I mean, I'm not sure that there'll be enough Lao missions down here. It is under 100% Capellian Confederation control. And it looks like Lao's, you know, kind of fighting back over here. I don't know what these these weird little uh, little flags are for, but um, oh, you can actually see which companies are fighting. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, is that where there's actually active players at right now? So there's like three different people fighting for that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we want to just save as much money as we can, so we're going to travel fairly close. Honestly, the Capellian Confederation looks like it's going to be wiped out. <laughs> just hate to say it, but, uh, yeah. I don't want to have to really... <sighs> they also have the St. Ives that they're always fighting for, um... Wow, looks like Federated Sons have taken a decent portion of St. Ives. I'm like 90% sure this should all be Capellian Confederation right now. Maybe even a little... Because look at, look at this right here. I'm pretty sure that this is a, a Capellian Confederation. I'm pretty sure that these worlds right along here... Honestly, I think like up into here, and I... Th think that they're on the back side of the Ivy, uh, I forget the name of this faction, uh, St. Ives Compact, yeah, so there are, yeah, there's actually some history there, which I don't completely remember, so let's find some place we can travel that's fairly quick, it doesn't matter, I mean, Capelling Confederation's just under complete assault, it doesn't look like anybody's playing this faction, 15 days, um, we will hit our thing, and we just have to hope there's some some missions here. Because I'm not doing any base uh, base fighting. If I had a group like my other playthrough where I had... Oh, I don't remember the two or three heavy... I think three heavy mechs, and I think my light was a white that was heavily armored. Very good laser boat. 
that does kind of stink that I did all that mech stuff uh, and then passed the time. I probably should have checked the contracts first because... Um, I've had this one before. Uh, I haven't tried send Darius down to help. We'll, we'll see what that does. Okay, that that's actually pretty bad, but we can live with it. I mean, we have to live with it anyways, and I guess we're not really repairing right now. But yeah, I should be should have been fixing my mechs up. That was a 13-day period, 15 days of travel. That would have worked out really nice if I had just checked the contracts again, which must have changed at some point because uh, there were there were some one skulls there, and we're pretty much broke. We do have to start grabbing up some uh, some money contracts at this point, but we've got almost a full month to do it, so. Hopefully we're not screwed and landing on a planet with a bunch of terrible contracts. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. No, just continue. I have no money for the store at all. So, uh, contracts, and then we got to back out of the screen afterwards. So I'm thinking this is going to be a, a much stronger lance overall. I've, I've upped my firepower, I've upped my armor. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> I've up the firepower and armor. I'm kind of surprised I haven't found any cockpits yet. Uh, boy, in my other game, uh, actually in two, two of my other games, I had a whole bunch of different cockpit upgrades. Uh, and yes, I was utilizing the neural interface uh, one as well. Um, so you're actually fighting here too? Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, I mean, not much I can do. We're gonna... We're gonna take the fight here. Uh, that's not gonna quite give me enough to... I mean, I'm gonna have to do... Wait, what are these? Recovery and... No, capture base. No, 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 no. I hate to help Merrick here, but, uh... Whatever. So, assassination. Uh, wow, so I want actually a couple pieces of salvage, which is going to way cut me down. So, well, I mean, if that medium X here, I'd really like to replace that javelin. Uh, these whole three uh, light mechs uh, get a little bit dangerous sometimes. All it takes is a few good hits, and then I basically just get popped. I realize the cicada is not utilizing all its tonnage. And I think my lance rating is up to one and a half now, so I'm pretty sure if I start doing the one skull missions, that at this point they're gonna be kind of brutal if they're battles. Uh, not not brutal. Uh, there's just chances of I think the medium X showing up. That's what I noticed before. Again, I don't know for sure, but I, I think it's looking at all of the periphery gear I have. Uh, in the base game, again, that's Lost Tech, so I think it might hold a little more value in terms of how strong it's making your lance look, which my lance isn't completely incompetent, but if I have to go up against, like, uh, two or sometimes three lances with, you know, two medium mechs and then a whole bunch of really mean, like, some daggers... Uh, Some of the fire trucks with the NART guns and just there's there's a lot of things, uh, yeah, that can can kind of happen. Command interface initiated. I like it here. It's lush. Okay, so he is. They're usually the one that's farther back. Oh, no jump jets. I was just going to jump right over the water. And then I realized I pulled jump jets off everything. Now, I actually really do like jump jets. I don't really have the... The party where I like to use jump jets. I like to use jump jets on my... Uh, my backline uh, fire support assassins, whatever you want to call them, that are 
really just shooting from afar. If I had one of those, uh, like the cicada right here, yep. might have you know if it had some jump jets, I would love to jump up on top of this rock and just hopefully let them come to me. The height advantage, I get a clear shot, so I don't have to really move around a lot. I have to get my mechs then out to intercept them because I don't want them to really come in, you know, range of scene, the cicada. Uh, but yeah. Okay, not quite eyes on anything it looks like. Uh, a bunch of lights. I have a ton of evasion, so we're just going to go ahead and hopefully they don't pop the, the cicada. That's the other thing. You do seem to take a little bit of pilot injuries uh, with a group like this, because a lot of the stuff that does hit you is when they just shoot. Oof. I'm glad I armored you up, though. Was that an AC-20? I think that might have been an AC-20. Yeah, cicada, you need to run backwards and kind of hide. I don't know, that's far away. That can't be an AC-20. That's got to be an AC-5. Maybe AC-10, um, but I think AC-5. Alright, so... Everything I have... Oh yeah, because I, uh, I waited. I forgot about that. I wish I had a tag unit still. Tag unit would be great. Uh, so the heavy PPC, you can see, I'm, I'm just racking up a boatload of heat here. Thing is, I'm just going to melee next turn, so that's fine. And when I hit with that uh, heavy PPC, it, it's just going to blow parts up. It's just going to blow, I guess, uh, in this case, a mech mostly up, but... Waiting on you, Commander. I mean... I think we're going to pull back and take a shot at the Locust, because uh, that's that's going to be my best hit chance here. Uh, looks like we hit the head. Yes, uh, that's, I think that's what we did. Um, glitch, 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 glitch. Um, honestly, I, I would rather have the... The medium lasers finish it off, if I can. Uh, because I'd like to get shots behind from her. Dang it, we did not manage to do it. I did get knocked back in initiative phase, though, so I, I could have a couple light mechs really... Really go for it next turn. Okay, so we don't want, you know, to give them an easy back shot. If they want it... Uh, Kind of make them run a little closer here. So my back's kind of more right back there. And we're going to go ahead and try to... Oh! We're going to go ahead and destroy an engine. Booyah! I actually don't even know what kind of mechs I'm fighting here. <laughs> Alright, what are you and what do you have? Light rifles, okay. That makes sense. Um, and I'm not as worried. I honestly really should have put the other uh, Ready for orders. the other ton of armor on my mech, which I did not. I mean, those are still 70s. I just got to hit with pretty much everything, though. There we go. Now I now I actually have glitch free to uh I don't know, take a peek at what else they have. Don't narc me. Don't narc me, please. Do you have an do you even have an arc? Uh yes you do. What can I do for you? Honestly, if I had a narc beacon I would take these arc welders off. I, I really would. And I would uh attempt to find out how in the world Ooh, so you got a 30 melee? So 
So you can't quite get behind anymore. You know what? Is if we just don't hit the front, that's dead. Oh, well, I mean, if I hit, obviously. If I hit, obviously. That only makes sense. All right, big sly. I mean, we're not shooting at the uh, the better side there. 22, 28. Yeah, one step forward. Still want to keep my cicada a fair distance back. Okay, so now wherever I hit the fire truck, it should pretty much be dead. We don't really want to crest the hill and try to step on... Uh, this, even though it's it's really not all that hard, uh, so it's it's simply because we don't want to really show ourselves yet. There's no need to. So uh, 73 melee damage. That doesn't seem right with the claws, but whatever. There we go. I mean, I'm still dealing double damage to vehicles. That's uh, 146 damage to wherever on a vehicle. Even ones that are not ramshackle should uh, be taking a pretty good beating from that. Um, so, let's go ahead and get that out a bit. I mean, I think I just keep firing at the front. I got plenty of things to shoot at it right now. Well, I got a hit with things too, though, I guess, huh? I hear ya. Do you now? Well, if you did, how come you're not doing what I want you to? Pretty low chances, but again, I've got several more to go here. Okay, so pretty weak in all areas. Ready for order. Ooh, no, 28s, uh, but I can't even fire my other weapons. I got plenty of ammo. 25s. Yeah, those are only 11s, but I, I mean... Punching all the buttons. <laughs> I kind of like that guy. This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? Good to go. Okay, so do I. I don't think he can see me here, so we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. We still have five evasion, just not the sixth. Hopefully I can get a little heat cooled down on everybody. Uh, we're going to reserve. If, if he comes charging up the hill, that's fine by me. Hmm, he did not come charging up the hill. Uh, the Vindicator's probably the closest. Uh, there's my uh, three. Ooh, do I want to try to... What's the what's the optimal range on that thing? Minimum ninety, long three sixty. And we just take the bad shots. So what do we have here? A gorilla, bushwhacker. Okay. Uh, mag shot, mag shot. What is the silver bullet goss? Or is that uh, Silver Bullet and Goss two different things? I haven't seen that before. Hmm. Ooh. That's terrible. Uh, let's go ahead and Vigilance right here. So that way I can go early next turn, because I will probably run up and try to melee. Not much. Not much. Okay. Waiting for 
Ah, <sighs> big sly, I think you're going to be stuck uh, just trying to get into range the rest of this fight without, uh, without kind of getting in its face. <laughs> Uh, I really want to keep maximum evasion here, though. Oh, this is my javelin. Okay, I was like, what is going on? Why am I not... I mean, force does provide me... It's negative one to hit going out of it, but it's plus two to hit me going into it. Uh, alongside the uh, bonus to uh, not taking damage. Let's turn a medium laser off here. I probably actually should have uh, ran around and just cooled my javelin there. Didn't realize I was that overheated. Waiting for orders. Uh, I mean, I don't have a good shot anywhere. I mean, that looks like my best shot right there, and I hate shooting multiple sides, but that thing, look at it. It's, I'm sure it's just got ECM and stuff. Oh, uh, if we look at it. XL engine. It's got a targeting computer, so it's a little more accurate. Um, really? You don't have, like, ECM or something? That's a little weird on a medium. So you do got to be careful. These these things, when they uh, take enough damage, they they decide they're going to get the hell out of there. Yes, Commander. Uh, can you get a back hit though? No, apparently not. So we will we will just take the swing here. Okay, so we knocked it back in initiative phase. That's good stuff. So everything gets a shot now uh, before it gets to go. Good to go. All right, that's maximum evasion, and we get some some nice back shots here. Got it. Uh, I mean, still not great hits. Good hits, but not great. Uh, I wonder how good your melee is, though. No, 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 go away. <sighs> I'm not even mousing over anything. Come on. Melee of 33? I mean, that, that will really beat my unit up, but we're going to, uh... To assume that it's not really going to be able to hit. I just need to cool off right here. We'll go for it. I don't think I'll have maximum evasion. Yeah, I should have six. I'm ready. All right, big sly, come on. Just, just keep on trucking. You'll get up there eventually. Understood. Moving fast. Just keep on trucking. Ooh. Um. Really glad I got all that extra armor now. Um, Orders. Hmm. Waiting for orders. Hmm. 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 That was actually pretty dang rough right there. Uh. So you're going to tell me that I really can't get a good turn on you? Well, we'll, we'll get what we can then. All right. Full speed. Boy, that thing just gains... I, I don't know how in the world that thing does not have... Like some ECM on it. Stealth armor as well. Yeah. We're going to look at that one more time. 
Oh, maybe it's the Gyro Defense Plus Plus. Uh, if so, then I really want that. Can you just run that, just out of curiosity? You cannot. So we're, we're just going to keep focusing on the back armor, which uh, honestly looks a lot easier than trying to take this thing out from the front. I might have to have my javelin fall back shortly in the future. It is kind of nice to be taking a lot of armor off of different areas. I don't think you hit me, but I can't really tell. I think you went after the venom there for some... Some crazy, crazy reason. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get in way closer than I ever want to. Um... Twenty-one. I mean, that heavy PPC is just not going to hit, basically, uh, on something that evasive. I mean, I'm better off just keep swinging at its back uh, with just melee. I mean, 21% chance to hit. Hmm. But, I mean, that's not moving at all, so, uh, I have no evasion up. Ooh. The heavy PPC with just the movement. That's, that's pretty close to max evasion. Oh, uh, I mean, I really need that to hit. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, I just think I need more firepower up here. Um, no we'll probably have to back up next turn. Oh, you did get a hit. Good job. Unfortunately, that's uh, that's not the kind of hits I really need right now. Because once I, once I get him into the red, he's going to bug out. He's going to want to get out of here. So I've got to have, honestly, with this kind of evasion, I've got to have some serious damage done to, like, the center there or something. <clears throat> now, this guy is very fast. I think we're, we're going to be safe right back here, though. Safe from that back shot. Hopefully he does not decide to go over and beat up on my poor cicada, which has... Ooh, he's going to bug out now. Oh, he's going to pick up my poor cicada. I'm really glad I put an extra ton of armor on there now. Did you, did it did it not move and still kept all of its... Uh... Okay, I am not looking at any particular piece of that. Quit showing... Forest, cover... Lost Tech Stealth. Um, so it does have stealth. Um, which means it does have a ECM on here somewhere. Okay, that makes Commander. honestly perfect sense. Uh, yeah, I can't fire twice in a row, though. What we will do is go to the back and punch, punch, punch. That is not the back. There we go. Um... Gonna be our best chance. Okay, so that that PPC even with the capacitors, I mean that's just so much damage. Uh, dang it, I don't have a. Uh, 
move and shoot yet. Okay. Ready for orders. Hmm. <laughs> If I sprint, I think I'm going to lose most of my... What about you? Where, where can you get? So I'd rather not have the obstructed view. Did... I swear those no those armor numbers are continually changing. Where is where is that? I swear I had more damage done to that when it said it a minute ago. Standing by. Confirm. Now I'm not sure I can fire everything right here. Target Nothing. A big fat nada. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to take this thing before it wants to run. Honestly, my javelin just took a beating there. So we're probably going to maybe back the javelin up. How bad is the javelin doing? I mean, it's, it's honestly taken a pretty good beating so far. Uh, Commander? I mean, I just gotta keep pumping firepower into it. The thing is, I'm just not hitting with anything. <laughs> what the what? Okay, how about you, Behemoth? What can you do? What is the chance? Come on, hurry up, uh... 60% chance to hit that. I'm kind of wanting to have the PPC ready for when it starts running, though. Uh, so I think I'm just going to take another swing, because I think that's going to be soon. Okay. Ooh, good stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping that's going to be it, and it's not going to get a go till phase two here. I mean, I'm honestly thinking I'm just going to skip a little bit of evasion right here because I really want to land some hits because I have the feeling this mech is bugging out shortly. Oh, if we could leg it, though. Uh, whoa, a bunch of fusion core crits. It lost evasive. Thank God. Uh, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. All right, so we will risk the overheat. It is the right leg that's damaged. You know what? No, no. We're just we're going to risk the overheat, but we're going to take the back shot cuz I I'd, I'd like to just take that fusion core out. Yep, there it is. I think that was like the Okay, I guess I did not get a good fusion core crit. Well, deal with it. Deal with it. I'm your spaniel. All right. Maybe we can even stress this. We're we're still gonna try to leg it. I have it. Oh, I can't believe you missed all those. What's up, boss? Uh, what's your chance to hit the leg? Thirty-nine. I think we go for it because if I can hit the heavy PPC there. All right, it's legged. So even if it gets up again, it's not going to be able to outrun me, really. Oh, pilot ejected. So there'll be quite a few uh, pieces of salvage here. I think I can only pick up two, though. But there was only one lance with it, so decent chance we get a uh, several pieces of the bushwhacker. 
I think so. I think so. Suddenly I am terribly excited. Uh, that one just plays exactly like the rest of my lands, so it would be uh, far better than either of my uh, my light mechs here. I mean, very. I mean, no damage on the Vindicator at all, and light damage on pretty much everything except for the Javelin. It did kind of take a bit, bit of a beating there. Um, four Bushwhacker parts. We're just going to check just to see if there's anything else that's like a must-have down here. Silver Bullet Goss. Um, so 65 damage, 14 tons, 50% chance to deal critical hit, one evasion pip ignored, plus one accuracy, uh, variation of damage plus or minus 25. Uh, it's got a recoil of only one. Most of the, yeah, most of the Gosses do, though. That's quite nice on them. Uh, damage fall off up to 45%. That's actually really good. It still can keep like half its damage with fall off. Okay. Um, in an attempt to bring the functionality of an LBX autocannon to the Gauss rifle, though the cluster-like ammunition made it easier to hit a target and was particularly effective in, it gave them an unreliable damage profile. Oh no, case two. I really need one of those, but we're going to go for the pieces of the Bushwhacker. Uh, there's also uh, gyro defense here. Oh no. Plus one maximum evasion. I want that so bad. Uh, Fusion Core 225. There's so much good stuff. Uh, patchwork materials. Normally I would be jumping up and down like, I want the patchwork materials, but uh, gyro defense plus plus. Plus one defense against being hit and more evasion. That's That plays right into my wheelhouse. Uh, case two and four parts for the Bushwhacker. Do I... Do I grab the Bushwhacker? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, and an Arc Beacon, too. There's so much good stuff here. Uh, and it weighs zero tons. This is so very, very, very in my wheelhouse right here. I mean, the real question is, do I do I continue increasing the mechs I have now and just wait till I start hitting missions where I'm going to start fighting uh, mediums normally and I'll pick parts up from things like that? Or, uh, because that'll be a little hard with so many lights, uh, but then I have the gear for when I... Well, we're going we're gonna to go for the pieces of the Bushwhacker here. Come on, Gyro. Come on. Nothing else but just the Gyro. Well, Case 2 as well. What do I get? Uh, a few more parts here. Seven additional pieces. Another piece of the Bushwhacker. Come on. Oh, you son of a... Oh, well. Um, We did get the cost. What's the value on that? That's pretty decent value. Uh, I might keep my eyes open for the Bushwhacker, though, in the store from now on. Might be something decent. Uh, if most of its stuff is not destroyed. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty broke as it is, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's all going to make a lot of difference, to be honest. <laughs> a Godzilla or a Mackie. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I, I don't care about getting eyes on the blips as quickly as possible. And it seems like most of the sight gear is uh, not all that good, if I'm going to be honest. Oh my goodness! Look at this! Look at this! Steiner didn't take anything this time. Craziness. Four days and only 8,000. I mean, that's that's just the power of the evasion. Now, occasionally... You just kind of get blown up, but, uh, you know, I guess that happens. Alright, and all my pilots are still fatigued. What do we have for contracts here? Uh, we got 25 days. Oh, thank goodness, there's some more contracts here now. 
Oh, did I not back out of this last time? Is that what maybe happened? I don't know. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.